It's so much fun to be working with Mojang Studios on Minecraft Legends. Here at Blackbird Interactive, we have a talented team of developers who are using our background in strategy games to bring a new and exciting experience to the Minecraft universe. We're super excited to share more details about PvP gameplay. There are some really cool features that make PvP unique. First off, players share their army and resources with their team. This means that individual players aren't able to win on their own. They must cooperate to be successful. Communication is really important, and you can sort of really tell the teams that gel together because they naturally form roles at the beginning of the game, and yeah. as soon as we start, you're off collecting, I start building. Yeah. We already we have our favorite roles, but we change them up. Also, the world in PvP is procedurally generated, just like it is in campaign. This means that each PvP session is different than the last. That it's different every time you play, depending on how the map is generated, where the valleys are, the mountains are, where the secrets are, you know, where the towers are. In Minecraft Legends, the piglins are an ever-present threat, and this includes PvP. The piglins are on their own side. They're trying to kill both of you at the same time. So the opposing team is not the only thing you need to worry about. Beware of the piglins. In PvP, there's something for everyone. For players who like action, they can go attack the piglins or lay siege to the enemy base. For players who enjoy exploration, they can search the world to find resources for their team, hidden treasure chests, or scout the enemy base. Gathering resources to help the team out, that's super important. But whenever I get into a PvP match, the first thing I try to do is to track down the Regal Tiger. It's my favorite mob to ride because it's really fast, but it's also really cute. For players who like building, you can spend your time building defenses and upgrading your base, because soon enough your enemy will attack and you need to be ready. So the first thing I do when we start is everyone runs off. I open the map, see where the enemy base is. First thing I build is what we call an upgrade tower where it allows you to build upgrades, so I place that at the back, away from the enemy. So I really pride myself in making, you know, impenetrable bases. Since the goal of PvP is to destroy the opposing team's base, defending your own base is really important. You have to start with a lot of walls, a lot of towers, and some gates. After that, you can just add whatever you want, freestyle it a bit. I like to add different layers of walls, so my opponents have to find their way through to my base, almost like a maze. And then once those walls are up, I like to actually hide my ice traps behind them to catch enemies off guard. When it comes time to finally take out the other team, my favorite strategy is to make a forward camp just outside the enemy base. Then I get the biggest, strongest mobs I can as fast as I can and start sending them in. Then I can smash down the walls, take out their mobs, and claim victory. The real fun of PvP is creating a strategy, having a game plan, deciding how you think you're going to crush the enemy, and then all of a sudden the hosts tell you, The opposing team just built a redstone launcher. And you're like, I can't do my attack now. I've got to like build an anti-siege tower, which is an anti-air tower, to stop the redstone launchers. You just have to be constantly changing your tactics. And sometimes you're like, I have no idea what they're doing. And then you you certainly you certainly find out very quickly. Resources, or do you want to go? I don't know. <laughs> uh, a while back, we had somebody on our dev team use a strategy where they built a bunch of what are called plank golems, which are archers. So they're very weak, but they do a high amount of damage. And he had 40 of them, and he just ran through our base, ran around our tower, and took out our entire tower with such a simple strategy. And that's why we still love playing it every day because every game is different. And you never know what's going to happen.